still on to integration by parts I have two problems here which I want to solve but whenever you are given a problem on the integration by part always remember your formula which is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du that is the first one secondly you have to decide which function to set as u and which to decide as dv so this is the acronym which will always guide us through how to choose our u uh, this one stands for uh, log function inverse trig function algebraic function uh, trigonometric function and the exponential functions so the, the first problem we are given here is uh, so now following this acronym we are, we, are, we are going to decide which function to set as u the first one here we have log function and we have a log function here so we are going to set our uh, u to be equal to the natural log of x then if we differentiate this we are going to obtain du with respect to x if you differentiate natural log of x you are going to obtain 1 over x so we have 1 over x dx now we are going to set the other function to be dv so dv will now be equal to x if we integrate both sides of this function we are going to obtain v equals x squared divided by 2 now we are free to substitute these terms into our main formula which is uh, equal to the whole of this uh, function is equal to this so we are going to obtain u times v and our u is natural log of x times v is x squared divided by 2 minus the integral of v v is x squared divided by 2 times du uh, du is 1 over x dx 1 over x dx this is equal to natural log of x times x squared over 2 minus the integral of uh, x here 1 x here we have x so we can even factor 1 over 2 outside then integral of just x dx now what is left for us to integrate is just x so this will now be equal to the natural log of x times x squared divided by 2 minus 1 over 2 if you integrate x you are going to obtain x squared over 2 plus the constant of integration c now if you like you can further simplify this is the same thing as uh, you can write x squared over 2 first x squared over 2 natural log of x minus this time this is x squared over 4 plus the constant of integration c so now this is how to integrate this function using integration by part now let us look on to the second one which is the integral of x squared cos x with respect to x this is the function we have following this acronym we can see that we have an algebraic function which comes first so therefore we are going to set our u to be equal to x squared if we differentiate u with respect to x we are going to obtain um, 2x dx now the other one which is dv we are going to set dv to be equal to cos x dx if we integrate both sides of this function we are going to obtain v equals to sine sine x we are not going to write plus c because we are not done with the integration yet now let us substitute into this formula which is the integral of uh, x squared cos x dx is now equal to uv our u is x squared our v is uh, sine x minus the integral of uh, v du our v is sine x uh, du is 2x dx 2x 
dx. We are not done yet. We are going to further uh, integrate this function. Again, we are going to set x to be equal to u from here. Uh, let u equals to x. Uh, du is equal to dx. Then we said dv equals to sine sin x dx. Therefore, v, if we integrate this function, we are going to obtain minus cos, cos x. Now, substituting back, we are going to obtain uv. Our u is uh, this x. Our v is uh, minus cos x minus the integral of v du. Our v is uh, minus plus this minus make it plus cos x then du is just dx now if we further simplify this we are going to obtain minus x cos x plus if you integrate this you are going to obtain sin x now we are going to substitute this into this integral so this becomes x squared sine x minus but we have two as constant here to multiply by the whole of this which is our negative x cos x plus sine x then plus our constant of integration we are going to expand this this is x squared sine x minus 2 times this is going to be positive 2x cos x this time this is minus 2 sine x plus the constant of integration this is exactly how to integrate this function with respect to x so thank you for watching do share to your lady and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos